Get him. Choke him. All right. Grab his, grab his freaking body. Come on. Put it in there. Dump it. All right. Don't worry. You're just a private investigator. But I'm going to be the private investigator today. Switch to his outfit. And there we go. Oh, yes. That was cool. Hello, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Goyalan. Welcome back to Hitman 3. Today, guys, we are continuing right where we left off last time. We completed the Dumai, uh, Dumai, Dubai mission in episode 1. And here we go with the second mission. So without further ado, hope you guys are doing great and enjoy. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. Fall hard enough. Who is she? You tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa, what? Alexa Carlyle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. Nothing. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlyle, wisely Never say sensing that, name. that her number is up, Allowed. has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlyle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlyle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlyle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, Shot. it That's was her late though. father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace cool of Providence. Accent. Like a fancy accent. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlyle keeps a case file on the constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture. So don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. All right, here we go. We are here to assassinate this lady. Ooh, that's a nice looking suit. Are you able to change your starting suit? You can. What the heck, a clown suit? Where do I get these items from? Are these pre-order bonuses or something? That's pretty cool, but now let's stay in line with the story. If you know what I mean. So we have one target and it's that lady. I don't want to say her name aloud, you know? You guys could be watching this video with the volume turned all the way up and I say that word right there, then it's gonna be bad. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Wait, do I have backup for this mission? Is that guy with me? No, he's not. Okay. There she is right there. So what we're going to do is get our pistol out. Bam. End of mission. I wish. Uh, do we... Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madam Carlisle. Please wait. Oh, crap. I can't be seen by these people. here to see Madam Carlisle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madam Carlisle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. All right. A famous private investigator sent by Alexa Carlisle has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. If you take his place, it may be an opportunity to get close to Madame Carlisle. Oh, okay. 
I'm gonna do that. Her resting place. She's getting ready to die anyway. So if that's the case, that just makes it easy. A day to remember it. Now let's do this one right here. Means, motive, and an opportunity. Okay, she hired a private investigator. Let's, let's take that fool out. Oh, this is easy to get in. You fools need some better security. How am I gonna take that guy out though? Some fools over there. Oh, you don't wanna get your nice suit dirty. Oh well, you're the one who decides to wear a brick. Is that lethal or non-lethal? Okay, that's non-lethal. Remember, I don't want to kill anybody but the target, okay? Now we're supposed to assassinate. Let's see if I can distract this guy over here. No, 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 don't go through the entrance. Uh, over here. But look over there. Something in the bushes. Why would he even care about hearing something? Oh, great. I want my quarterback. No, 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 no. Oh, it just says follow him. So we don't need to necessarily take him out now. We just need to follow him. Okay, so let's do exactly that. So the private investigator is being escorted somewhere. Alright, stay down. 47. I gotta take out one of these security guards. I will want to take out a security guard, but... I'll pick up that quarter. Oh my gosh, she's getting away. I gotta hurry up and do this. Can I just sneak up behind this guy? Oh, you are so blind, man. Alright, so do him. Choke him. Uh, disguise. Gardener. Alright, let's drag his body. Put him in the grass. Hopefully he don't get eaten a lot by ants or something. But why would a gardener needs to go inside the house all right so let's leave his body in the bushes are we still trespassing no we're not we're clear because of this outfit all right we got to go that's that guy by the way i told kate about those texts what did she say well i thought she'd be mad at me but she just Man, all these crows she understood the position i was in uh, we had a really good talk about it now. Oh, what did i tell you i climbed through the window follow the private oh, he, oh the target is over there there's a lady Trespassing. Oh boy, you don't messed up. You shouldn't have been right here. Get him. Choke him. Alright. Grab his grab his freaking body. Come on. Put it in there. Dump it. Alright, don't worry. You're just a private investigator. But I'm gonna be the private investigator today. Switch to his outfit. And there we go. Oh yes, that was cool. Okay. Detective Hitman. That's who we are. What's going on? Don't mind me. Just here. Mr. Duties? Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. Oh, no problem. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution. Really? Handled no. with absolute discretion. Results and discretion are my speciality. Very well. <laughs> I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Fernsby, the butler. Madam Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Yes, I Do you have. care for some refreshments? Or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? Uh, I prefer to get started. As you wish. I thought they make me make sir. choices. Okay, follow Mr. Fernsby. Okay. Okay, Mr. Fernsby, I'll be following you. This is a really nice feel obliged to point mansion or a castle. Yeah, it's called. This is a castle. Are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that a staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madam's children were not informed until this morning. You like what you're looking at? Not, not dead at all. So please bear with them if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. She's faking. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madame Carlyle is still alive. Even I'll her own kids? Her when I leave. Oh, no, that's somebody, I'm just somebody totally the different. Scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. I don't know what to believe now. From the inside. And a suicide letter was found in his room. However, 
Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. All right, we'll do my investigation. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Oh my gosh, look at this guy's room. Oh, he was into books, I see. Very knowledgeable. Let's see if he got any tools laying around. Oh, he has a laptop. I always can find out a lot about somebody through their computer. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. He's looking for some boots. If you... Yeah, that, that does not make sense at all. So he over here shopping for some boots, unless it's for somebody else. But hey, look like they got a discount on them things. But, uh, yeah, if you're getting ready to commit suicide, this is all a stage, man. There's... I'm gonna just call her by her last name. There's Carl... Li I don't even know how to pronounce her last name. I'm gonna just call her A-word, okay? But anyway, we gotta investigate this right here. Read his suicide note. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? Oh, shoot. And they just got this dead body just sitting right here? Laying in the bed? Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. For real? This guy's good. I want to be like Agent 47 when I grow up. All right, what else is supposed to scan? What the? Oh. Oh, he was poisoned. Let me guess. Are you going to tell me anything about it? All right, I scanned the whiskey. All right, let's put the camera up. Anything else? There's a cabinet. So this kitchen knife. Might as well take that. For later. But now I don't want to actually end up killing her. You know I like to make it look like it was an accident. Yeah, I, don't, I knew I saw something over here. Oh, a book, a hidden door? Yep. A hidden door. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. What is that? Peep through the peephole. What? Okay. Oh, they can't see me through here. Mansion floor plan. Hmm. A photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. Is that him over there? I mean, that's one way to exit. I guess we can go ahead and go down there. What is that? A newspaper. Don't mind if I do. I just took a newspaper. I'm gonna knock somebody out with this. All right, we need to go talk to her butler. I wonder what she's doing up there, though. Hello, sir. How's it going? Don't mind me. Just got some very uh, secretive assassination, assassinating to do. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. <laughs> I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case, and I will take you to Madame Carlyle. Mr. Fernsby? Mr. Whitmer, you have enough evidence to present your case for Madame Carlyle? No, not yet. Come and see me when you do. So how does one solve oh, a murder so mystery Yeah, yourself? that's what I was gonna say. Motive to solve a means an opportunity, I believe. Mystery. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps you prefer searching the manor for clues first? Oh, I'm searching for clues. Very well, Mr. I don't have to go through intel in it. Okay, here are my suspects. That is so cool. Wait, why would it be him? Oh my gosh, I have to solve a murder mystery? 
the oldest child, the middle child, and the youngest child of A Word, the wife of Gregory and daughter lots of madam. A daughter in law? Why'd you kill your mother in law? Gregory, I mean Gregory, Edward, Rebecca, Emma, and oh Patrick, that is one of them. Speed up time so I don't die from boredom. Oh, that's him right there. Did you kill that man? Perhaps a brisk walk in the garden would do you good. I st I'm often a question the heck out of you, Patrick you know, Carlyle. Can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Yeah, where you were you? Shh, it's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. Elaine, give us some privacy, would you? Yes, please step out. I need to Don't have a talk with that. this man. Okay. She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie, uh, for an evening stroll. I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. So, is that it? What did you think of Zachary? Oh, creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. You know, father says Zachary and Alexi used to be two of a kind. He had a great future ahead of him. Then he just gave up everything. What an idiot. Thank God Daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married Mummy. I don't have to worry about the inbreeding so customary in these circles. If that's all, I think I'll get back to my slow... Did you see anything suspicious last night? No. I reckon Zachary tops himself. I know I would have. Or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. I don't like him. He could have done it. It's not because you don't like him. Okay. I'm not much of a detective in real life, so I don't know. Maybe that's where it is. What is My lost button. The one you couldn't find at the graveyard. Wouldn't it be a good idea for you to go and look for it? Now Fire poker. Yes. Non nah, lethal. Okay. Let's put that away. Hey, mister, I think you dropped that. Yeah, I know I dropped it. I'm trying to put it away. You can't conceal this? So you dropped something. Yeah, I know. Let's just uh leave it there, okay? Alright, where are other suspects in search locations of interest? They're not giving telling me where to go though. I need to go in the bathroom real quick. Huh. Sink overflow. Soap. What can I do with a bar of soap? Bro. <laughs> I just picked up a bar of soap. Okay. Overflow the sink. No, we don't need to do that. Close the door. Where are all of our other suspects at? Trophy room. Oh, look at the little birdie. Oh, ow. Oh, jeez, I am so sorry. I think these birds fruits. Well, excuse me. Oh, this is cool. This is, um... Oh, this is reminding me of that movie Knives Out. That is probably what this is a reference to. Wait, it says I could take a picture of something right here. Where's my, uh... Camera. I need to take a picture of something real quick. Paperwork scan. You sir, you wouldn't happen to know anything about who murdered that guy, right? Alright, we need to go... Wait a minute. Look at that lady right there. Is that... That's Rebecca. Excuse me, Rebecca. I must have a worry with you. Rebecca Carla. Can you tell me about yesterday evening? We don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not like we sit on each other's laps. Now, let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a quarter to nine. I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. I had a conference call with my New York office at nine, so I spent three hours on my laptop in my room. 
and went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. She did act a bit strange. You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived during breakfast. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Tell me about Zachary. Did he act strange last night? You know, now you mention it, he was a lot more chatty than usual. He wanted to know about my connections in the publishing business. Apparently, a friend of his is writing a book, which strikes me as very peculiar. I didn't think he had any friends. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? I do have a lot Anything of else you feel like mentioning? I may be wrong, but I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. It's probably nothing. Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. All Is these there anything names. else you want to ask? Me? I am so freaking confused. Is that everything? Yeah, I guess that's everything. Okay, I know all I need to know from you. Can I get your picture real quick, though? Hold on, turn around. Smile for the camera, please. Put the water bottle down. I need to take a picture of you. <laughs> we gotta go find the rest of our suspects so we can question them. Is that a feather duster? I'm gonna tickle somebody to death with that. Suspects, suspects, suspects. We have Sure am, Mr. Fernsby. Coming along That's just the fine. butler right there. I trust Mr. Patrick is not interfering with your work. We need everything ready for tomorrow. He's just bored, I think. I can work while we talk. Just leave it as you talk. Where is everyone else at, though? And they don't even notice a man sleep in here. So imagine they don't notice these clothes on the ground. <laughs> what is that? Staff? Well, give me that wrench. I might need that for later. And a bar of soap, because why not? A gentleman. He gave me his coat and all. Rosie, you need to forget about Patrick. No good's gonna come of it. That poison. Stick Give me to that. your own kind. Oh, you mean like Chris? He treated me like shit. All he wanted to do was play his stupid video games. Never any romance. I deserve romance. What, who is this? How are things coming? This up? is Rosie. Where is Rosie at? All right, I questioned her. I need to question everyone. Bro, who, is, who the heck is Rosie? On inside. Is everything ready? Rosie, tell me what you did last night. I'm in trouble, aren't I? I... I spent the evening with Patrick. We met after dinner and I went home at one in the morning. I'm sorry I'm being so quiet. He said he needed someone really real to talk this. to. When he looks at you, it makes you feel like the center of the universe, like a real princess. But now he just ignores her. Well, he's under a lot of pressure. He's an idiot. That's what he is. So 41 guests will attend the funeral tomorrow. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Any strangers outside the house? No, no, we saw no one outside. Except Patrick's mother, Emma. We were sitting on the bench behind the greenhouse talking when she came out and um, we had to hide. You won't tell her about me and Patrick, will you? She'd insist Madame Carlyle fire me. I'm sure of it. Do right, she will. She's always going on about how things will change once she's in charge of Thornbridge Manor. Did all the groceries arrive? I heard some of the delivery people were unhappy with the security at the gate. But why is safe with Ethel? She never misses a step. I want to question everybody first. Yeah, it still says for me to question. That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. Okay. How am I going to get in there? Looks like we're going to have to sneak our way in. What is this? I'm missing a crowbar. It's probably a window. It's going to crawl out here. You don't have a window in this office that I can just sneak through? Oh, an apple. Oh, that's a baseball. Give me that baseball. Oh, I should have looked around to see if somebody was looking. A saber? Can I... Oh, he put it on his back. That's an illegal item. He might want to drop that. Think, what's that sword doing on your back? 
Alright, let's break open this fuse box. Oh shoot, did somebody hear that? I heard somebody say what? Nobody heard that, did they? Who said what like that? If I destroy this fuse box... Wait, how am I going to unlock the... I could, I could just use the crowbar. I don't even need to do that. That's a distraction. Oh, okay, Dr. Fernsby. Gonna go through. Oh, a mansion master key? Give me that. Yes, sir. Uh. Golf club. Oh, you can only drop it. Oh, man. I guess big things you can't. Mr. Fernsby's list. We're making progress, ladies and gentlemen. We are making progress. You're getting closer to something. Something of the. Oh, that mirror freaking scared me. Something really important. Lethal poison pill jar. Painkillers. Lethal if you use enough of them. But not the poison used to kill Zachary. Of course, Madame Carlyle doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame the butler, 47? Am I? I mean, I don't have nothing personal against him. I'd rather just take out the target and get a move on. But if there's no other way, then we shall do what we must. Oh, it's something I could take a picture of in here. The dining room. Oh, this place looks so fancy. Oh, hello. Um, that's, um, what's his name? Edward. Hey, I have questions for you. Professor Edward Carlyle. Can you tell me your whereabouts for last night? Oh, yeah. Wait, while you do that, I need to, uh... Yes, this... Take a picture of something. This was with Zachary. I stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. I don't think My this guy did Gregory it. Gregory came along for a nightcap. He never admit it, but I think he understands that I find this whole thing upsetting. And wanted to provide some comfort. I believe we went to the stack's head around half past eight. Anything else I can do to help? Zachary? Can you tell me about Zachary's behavior last night? I certainly didn't expect him to commit suicide. <laughs> sure, he was upset by a mother's supposed death. I had took a picture of him. We were. But he seemed more engaged than usual. You should ask Rebecca, they had a long talk. Did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? His plants, mother, and the staff are all the company he had. If that's all, I have a speech to write. Okay, go ahead and write your speech. I shall be on my way. Pick up a bus. Always led by example rather than by words and meaningless gestures. Oh, lady, I am finna assassinate you. Encouragement. You got it coming. What, what the heck? Oh, they're breaking stuff? All right, I still have more people to question. We are missing Gregory and Emma. But why does it have it? Why does he have an X on him? Like, I don't know. Oh, is that? That's all right there. Emma, I have some questions for you. Emma Carlisle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. I need to account for everyone. Yes, I well, need to account for everyone. Well, I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around 8 o'clock. Is that all? How did you feel about Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. But how do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? In my opinion, Alexa bears some responsibility for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him live here. Anything else you want to know? Have you noticed anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing special comes to mind. Except, perhaps, I did get a feeling that Zachary was depressed, not just sad. I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one, letting him believe she was dead. Then again, guilt isn't her strong suit. Okay. So it sounds like everyone is pushing towards it being Zachary. I said towards it being Zachary. I'm getting the uh, names all wrong and everything. Towards it being Patrick. 
but is that why he has the eggs on him? I'm not entirely sure. So I do not know. Hello, no sir. Power. Do you know who murdered Zachary? Mission story. A family photo. I'm not trying to do that one right now. Oh, there's an opportunity over there to take a picture, but I want to do this investigation uh, method, so let's stick with this, okay? Gregory. Is that the guy we're looking for? Yeah, Gregory. Hope you're well, sir. Oh, that's him sitting right there on the couch. Oh, wow. Hello, Gregory. Might I have a seat next to you? Guess not. Gregory Carlisle. Can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Well, you're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other That's hand, probably none of these Zachary, people. my obnoxious sister, and the wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> the, the short of it, Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Is that all? Not very thorough, are you? Not very thorough. What do you know about Tell Zachary? Tell me about Zachary. Zach! Huh. Such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle. But who could blame him? The only company he had was his rare plants and mother, who travels more than she stays here. Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger ball. He's better off dead. Anything else you want to pry from my interview? Anything else you'd like to yeah, tell me? Yeah, I got a lot really. of questions for you. I'm just enjoying the show. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. You know, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. The way this guy's just talking about it, I don't think it's him. But it really doesn't matter. I'm trying to get up there and kill. A Mrs. A word. Hello, sir. Hello, how's it going? Question suspects and search locations of interest. I feel like I've searched everything. Wait, does this say locations of interest up here? Zachary's bedroom, Zachary's body. I mean, I've searched his body. Emma and Gregory's room. Rebecca's room. Alibi confirmed. I still don't know exactly what that means. Oh, we still have to question them. Is that why they're lit up like that? Because these say alibi is confirmed. Okay, let's go back and talk to Rebecca, Emma, and Mr. Fansby, the butler. What are they talking about? I doubt it's something. I hope it's not anything important because I'm not even listening to them. I need to go finish questioning conclude investigation no I asked him everything um is this Emma Gregory, don't say more to that weird detective than you need to I was just having a laugh yeah, dear. weird detective I must admit he's pretty good what if he believes we had something to do with Zachary's death uh, you know I'm oh, standing right behind please. you right He's circling us. I don't see him snooping around your sister. I bet Alexa said something. If I could be bothered, I'd be worried about your... Yes, I'm family. asking questions. That is my Sorry, duty. I'm having That's my job, time man. <sighs> I think we need to finish investigating their stuff. So... My suspects is Emma and... Gr no, Rebecca... Oh, okay. I see what we need to do. We need to finish investigating Rebecca's room, Emma and Gregory's room, and Mr. Fernsby's office. I was just in his office. Two out of three clues found. Okay, we got to head back to his office because we missed something. I got it still in their sleep. That's the real detective. Oh, there's something in the fireplace. What is that? His half-burnt diary? Zachary's diary. I didn't see that. This is big. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother, Montgomery, 46 years ago. 
What? And apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. Oh, that and dirty man. The handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room, proving he didn't write it himself. Oh. Mr. Fernsby clearly didn't commit the murder, but I think you have enough evidence to convince Madame Carlyle he did. Maybe you should tell him you are ready to present your findings. Unless, of course, you want to do some more detecting, 47? Yeah, I want to finish everything up. But that's interesting. So he and Madame Carlzine did some stuff a long time ago. Interesting. So we can just flip it around and blame it on him? This murder on him and get us closer to her? Or we can finish you like, doing our um, investigating. Breeding? You look really smart. Like, in a good way. What are you talking about? Viable suspect. We can just put it on him, but I want to learn more about Rebecca and Emma just because, you know. So let's go to Emma and Gregory's room and Rebecca's room. Where's Rebecca's room? Towards the cemetery and towards the parking. Okay, both of their rooms. Well, Rebecca and I should not Rebecca. Emma and Gregory share a room. There's Zachary's room, but where is? I read all the time. Literature. I'll just find it. Okay, so this is a library. This is a nice mansion. Oh, look at that view. Anyways, I don't even need to be out here. Let's lean over. Okay, we can go now. Close it. Don't want to let all the cool air out. Where could that the... is the door to Rebecca's room. Okay. Looks like I'll be going in. Wait, is somebody in there? No. Oh, that master key. Alright, close the door. Close the door. Okay, oh, Rebecca, you need to straighten up your room. This is a mess. Any info on this notebook? Guess not. Is this Rebecca's room? One out of two clues found. Uh, what? Let's see, let's see. Oh, it's a painting. Some hidden behind here? Oh, wow, she has a hidden room. Hidden area. How did you know about this? Open. I'm not gonna open that. That's a guy right there. That'll just blow everything. I'm not seeing anything important in here. Oh, what is that right there? Oh, that's a button open the door. Okay, what could the second clue be? We probably need to head back in her room. Is there anything? Oh, the laptop. How do we miss this? Alright, let's invest look on our laptop. How do you know her password? How did I he get in there? I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9 p.m. to midnight last night. Okay. Alright, we found all the clues to her stuff. And last is just Emma. So we need to do a bit more investigating. So we're going to go to Emma in Gregory's room. Hopefully their room is a tad bit cleaner. There's a word over there. We are not trying to get to her just yet. I want to finish investigating. Hey, Gator. Do you see this about old Wumpy? That's why he's talking to her. On the second floor though, where is Rebecca's room, Zachary's room? That looks like that's gotta be it over there. Can you put waypoints? How are you today, sir? I'm doing good. I need to finish doing some investigating. Hello. I am not ready to wrap this investigation up. I am still doing stuff. Is this their room? Oh no, this is uh, Zachary's room. Is this their room? Oh. Oh crap, my trespassing. I not me being here. I am so sorry. What is that room? I'm not supposed to be in there. But whose room is that? Oh, it's just an office. Okay, I want to get in here and take these guys out. Just because. But I wouldn't have anywhere to put their bodies. Yes, I'm in England now. It's all gone. Check them out, check them out, check them out. What the fuck do I say to Carlisle? 
I don't know what I the point of doing this was. Here. I have no idea what's going on. It's it's all gone. Wait till he gets off the phone. No, she's calm as ice. It's it's just not natural. Nobody's Boy, that only calm. if you knew who was behind you. It's gonna end in murder. I'm telling you. I don't take him out with a newspaper. <laughs> Just go to sleep. It'll be alright. So I'm done doing what I need to do. Alright, so I can disguise myself as a lawyer? Okay. Anyways, lawyer, you aren't doing your job right. So I'm gonna put you in here. Sleep tight. And for this dude, the bodyguard. I could take a bodyguard disguise, but nah, let's stay dressed up. Stay disguised. Oh, not me to switch his outfit. Switch back to their private investigator outfit. Don't snap his neck. Like, I'm scared I'll accidentally press that button. End up snapping their neck. But no, I don't want to kill anyone. There was no point in me even doing that. Anyways, I'm out of here. Those guys are taken care of. Just need the XP. Is it up one more floor? I don't know who you think you are, sir, but I'm not letting you pass. I'm the private investigator. Do you not know who I am? I'm not supposed to be up here? Oh, great. I can't go up any higher. Man, screw you. Where is their room at? That's Rebecca's room. Where is Gregory and Emma's room? Why am I having such a hard time finding these people's bedroom? That's where we just were down there. Bathroom. No, I saw I was, I was something to be in a bathroom. I was just looking. That's the only reason I opened it. That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. Where? This door right here? Oh, wow. Here it is, right here. Alright, don't mind me. Just got some investigating to do. A walking cane. Ooh. Can you take that and put it away? No, you can't. How much? Four clues are in here. Oh, wow. Okay. Is that letter opener? Don't need that. She has some fancy makeup products right here you probably look on their balcony but just not yet they have a bathtub in their room oh no put the pistol away I didn't mean to pull that out get the camera that's something I could scan right here what is it exactly oh the shoes uh, I don't know what that was for but okay anything oh what is this I don't know what that is gonna dump something in there a propane tank. Alright, two more clues. They're most likely outside. On the balcony. I want to say. I hope so. A newspaper. About hunt, huntsman and hound. That's already suspicious. Why are you reading about dogs? You don't even have any dogs in this place. I don't see no dogs. You never see these type of people with dogs. Maybe having like a little exotic poodle or something. I don't know. What the heck am I talking about? I'm looking through all this lady's stuff. A letter from Emma's mother. Okay, this seems important. Now, this is interesting, 47. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. The plot thickens. That's the second thing pointing towards that. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I have one more, uh, thing. One more clue. One more clue. Oh, what's that right there? What is that? Greenhouse keychain. A keychain pendant for the greenhouse. What's that doing in Emma and Gregory's room, I wonder? And why is the key missing? Yeah, why is the key missing? That's everything. Oh, I have to go to the greenhouse. Okay, this is new. The greenhouse is most likely outside. The the greenhouse is located located in the rear end of the garden behind the mansion. This is most likely the greenhouse right here. All right, to the greenhouse we go. Can't you tell me about anything? Oh, you probably, uh, in yeah. What the? Yeah. Sorry. Get this lady some space. She is not interested in you, bro. Hey, come with me. I need you to follow me. Okay, we need to make our way to the greenhouse. So 
So let's head back downstairs. Sup? Hello, how's it going? Okay, we need to go to the back of the mansion. Oh, that's what it wanted me to scan. Let's go check out this greenhouse. That's it over there. Okay, so we found all the clues to Emma and Gregory's room. Yeah. I'm taking pictures. A wrench. Sure, we might as well take it. Oh, two wrenches. Where does Agent 47 put all this stuff? Like, look at me. Just looking sharp, but I got all this stuff in my pocket. Like, how? Where are you keeping this stuff at, man? Alright, here's the greenhouse. Guess we're gonna use the crowbar. Anybody see that? Nope. Alright, hopefully. Okay, well, that's that. We are here in the greenhouse. This is a table showing lethal dosages for the poison used to kill Zachary. Something is circled 47. What? Female, age 65 to 79, 60 to 64 kilograms. I'd say Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. Yeah, let's poison her for sure. That's Broken the way to take equipment. It looks like it was recently used though. You have uncovered enough evidence to tell Madame Carlyle that Emma is the murderer. Quite the detective, 47. I'm impressed. Hey, I couldn't have did it without I you. I suggest you go tell Mr. Fernsby. Unless you think there are more secrets to uncover. Nah, let's, uh... Alright, produce poison. Well, good thing I had the poison already from the kitchen. Pick up lethal poison vial. Alright. Here it is right here. Let's put that away. Pick up poisonous... Oh, we can make more stuff? Shoot, we might as well. An all-you-can-drink poison buffet. Nobody looking here. I'm making poison. Cool, I got two of them. That was something. Oh, that's a whole bunch of them. I poison everybody named Mama in this mansion. Might as well. Boat key. Oh, that's the way we can get out of here at the end. Yeah, you're right. It was poison. Emma, why was you out here doing all this? I really could care less as to why. But, hey, we got our stuff. All right, let's get a move on. No question while I was in there? All right, so we need to go talk to the butler. Mr. Fernsby, yeah, that's the butler. All right, here we go. At least we didn't have to uh, just blame it on this guy. I am ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carlyle. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. All right. No need to panic. Here goes nothing. Just follow the butler. Keep that poison in your pocket. Don't let nobody see. Can you hurry up? Oh man, you are walking so slow. Oh my gosh, why do you keep stopping? Come on. Are you gonna let me enter now? Thank you. Are there any gardeners out This is Madame Carlyle's office. Please step inside. Not that I know of. Alright, here goes nothing. Here's your detective skills have gained you access to the lion's den, 47. Now, go claim your reward. Alright, here we go. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Yes, I have. Looking around for some drinks. 
All right, let's sit down and talk to her about this. Please, go ahead. Mr. Fernsby, Emma accused Zachary. Let's tell the truth. It was Emma. Your niece, Emma Carlisle, murdered your brother, Zachary. My niece? Emma is not my niece. She's my daughter-in-law. And your niece. Emma is the illegitimate child of your late older brother, Montgomery. How did you know all you this? You and Zachary killed 46 years ago. That's preposterous. <laughs> you asked me to find out what happened to Zachary. Would you rather not know? No. Yeah. No, go on. Yeah, I found I'm good. A letter from Emma's mother, Jane, who was the fiance of your older brother at the time of his death. She witnessed how you and Zachary pushed him off the balcony. She believed you did it to steal the Carlisle Empire from her and her unborn child. And she raised Emma to reclaim what she lost. Marry your heir, Gregory, get revenge, and secure the Carlisle Empire for her bloodline generations to come. Emma is the daughter of Montgomery and that local girl, Jane. She is. Well... The girl got it wrong. I didn't steal anything. I did what was necessary to protect the future of the Carlisles. Montgomery wasn't cut out to take over from father. All heart and no balls. Emma used the funeral gathering to speed up her installment as the lady of the house, seizing the opportunity to stage Zachary's suicide. She did her homework, used a poison made from one of Zachary's rare plants, found old floor plans from Thornbridge Manor to gain access to his room through a secret passage. That scheming bitch. More than you think. I found proof that she will try to poison you next. Well, I'll have to take care of that. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Whitmer. You have not disappointed. That's gonna be I me. promised you I would reward you generously if you solved the case. Where's my money? So, what do you suggest? I want to have a drink with you. Case file. Let's say a case file. I want the file you have on Arthur Edwards. Edwards, the constant. But how do you... Oh, I see. I expected you might show up. But to kill me, not help me. What? But I've been wrong on so many things lately, so why not this one? I will give you the file on Edwards. You've earned it. Oh, she was a bit literal. I suppose I could convince you to deal with my daughter-in-law now you're here. I would like to see her dead. Oh, this is a toxic family. No? What a shame. I'll have to see to it some other way then. What is that? She ain't got no drinks or nothing on her table like a poison. What you idiots standing around for? Give me some space. The file you want is in the same. God, I hope you get Edwards and make him hurt. I need some privacy. Thank you. You're welcome. Sir. What? What do you want? Case file on Arthur, Arthur Edwards. Okay. Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Oh, trust me, I will. What? Oh, oh, oh! oh. Oh my gosh, okay, let's get the heck out of here. Well done, 47. Oh, what the? Okay, we gotta get out of here. They go, um, who did that? That's a bathroom. Oh, uh, excuse me, just gotta get out of here. Why did it sound like that? Am I being hacked by somebody? They're on to me. She had that coming. Pushed her off the balcony. Okay, so we got the case file, and we eliminated a word. Carla's, uh, I still can't pronounce her name. So I just go straight out the front and just walk past her body. You're like, oh, how did this get here? Oh my gosh. Are people not panicking or nothing? Searching. Oh crap, who are they looking for? Is this the front? Or no? I guess not. Where did I push her body at? Maybe it was on the other side. And I'm just leaving as if nothing happened. That is so cool. Like I still, you still over there in the bushes sleep? 
Yes, he is. Wait, let's not go this way. Alright. My work here is done. They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine. Shit. What the heck? That's what that glitchy noise was. Something's going on. Oh, shoot. Exit mission. Hey, we out of here. We did it. That's cool. That took me entirely too long, but hey, we was a detective. Look at all these other opportunities for this mission. This game is deep. 59 minutes is how long it took me. On the dot, too. Silent Assassin. Mission stories. Dang, this game is very playable, you guys. Like, you can go back and make so many different decisions and ways of taking out your targets. And I got a new suppressed pistol. Nice. All right. Oh no, she's gonna get blown up. Behind you! Oh no! Stay down! Boss wants you alive. Yeah, I shot him in the yeah. stomach. How about now? Over here! Cover me! What the? We just met this guy. Walk away! <laughs> or what? You gonna take us all on? Is that me? Hitman? Is that 47? Don't. Uh -oh. Tell the constant to start running! What? You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. What? And I meant it. I'll look forward to your call. I was supposed to assassinate her? Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. I was just there and I did nothing. We're all that's left now. I'm confused. What the heck is going on? Oh my gosh. Oh, all that stuff just happened. Why does Hitman have a story? I didn't know. This is confusing. I'm kind of interested. Yeah, once I beat it, I'm going to watch some explanations and story breakdowns on YouTube. That was cool. I like that mission. Look at these other two opportunities. Her final resting place in a day to remember. This game is very playable. But yeah, that's going to do it for part two, ladies and gentlemen. What was the name of this location? The first one was Dubai. This is... What? What's the name of this mission? Destination Dartmoor. Okay, the next one is berlin germany okay so for part three we're gonna do this one all right well yeah ladies and gentlemen hope you guys did enjoy that as in part two of my hitman walkthrough and as always you guys please stay safe stay positive hug your brothers and sisters mom and dads and until next time my name is go eli peace out that was a long outro peace out